we are doing another dirty pour today, my friends. What are we using today? We are using metallic copper, heavy bodied tempera, tempera, tempera. Tempura, tempura. So we're trying these, we've never tried these paints out before, so we're gonna go and try them out. It's copper, and then this is gold right here. Same thing, a nice gold. And then we've got one of your nice primary colors, nice red there. This is a Craft Smart tempera paint. Tempera, tempera. Little uh, acrylic. So we're gonna be mixing two different kinds of paint. So, you know, so we'll see how that works out. This kind of hot pink here. Then I've got this metallic green, kind of a greenish gold there. And then this really bright, vivid green. So we're gonna see how that all works out. What we're gonna do is mix them all in separate cups. Going to go two parts paint, one part Floetrol. And uh, last time we used a little bit of water, but we don't have distilled water. And we've heard that you're supposed to use distilled water. We just got our tap water, which is a bit hard. So I, I think it's might be making it hard for the cells to form or something. So um, sometimes you want to use water to thin it out a little bit or a little bit of alcohol, you've heard people use. But we're going to skip that one today and just do the paint, the Floetrol, and the silicone. And the Floetrol we're using is the stuff most people use. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it at uh, Home Depot, real big bottle. And then the silicone we're using, you'll see a lot of people use it. You can get same thing, Amazon, Home Depot, a hard, hardware store or something like that. And what we'll do is mix all the paints together with the Floetrol first, and then pour them into one cup and do a few spritz of uh, silicone here and there. And then we'll dump in see how it comes out. So we'll fast forward this part of the mixing so you don't have to uh, hear us ramble for 20 minutes. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what, I take it back. We're gonna mix it and we'll, just, we'll be right back. We'll just stop the video and come right back because um, I don't think you need to watch 20 minutes of me fast forwarding. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got all the paints mixed now. So we're gonna take a fresh cup. I'm going to spray a little bit of a uh, Actually, I use my left hand. Spray a little bit of silicone into the cup first, just a little, little blast like that. Oop, a little bit on the canvas. I'm sure it's fine though. And then we'll go ahead and uh, move this over just a little bit here. Thank you. Okay. So, um, oh shoot, the battery's about to die. Well, we'll do as much as we can. Our battery's about to die on the phone. We'll see how far we get here. All right, so I'm gonna go with a strong base color. I'm gonna go with this green right here, my first one. Oh, and by the way, I said earlier we're gonna go about two parts paint, one parts Floetrol. It ended up being about half and half, maybe 60-40. Uh, just a little bit more paint, but it was almost even. Cause it's just, we didn't, we, the canvas is smaller, we don't wanna waste paint. So um, yeah, I said two thirds earlier, but it's, it's, it's roughly half and half. And I see some people measure and get exact with it. We don't do that. We just go nuts, so. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna spray another spray of um, silicone in it, but I'm gonna do a couple paints. I'm not gonna do between each spray this time. So first we did the green, now we'll do the pink. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna go gold next. Plus the gold tempera point paint that we were showing you is a little thicker than the other stuff, than the acrylic. So that, we're gonna see if that's gonna be a problem or not. I'll give it one little blast of silicone here. Okay, then we'll go with the red. And this, oh Ooh. gosh, oh man, that clumped up a lot. That did not look good. I guess we didn't mix that one as well. Oh jeez. And then we're gonna go with the gold, which is really, oh this, man, this is really thick, guys. I don't know how this is gonna come out. Let me try out some more silicone and see if that maybe helps get it separated a little bit better. No, it's not, it's tempura, whatever we called it. So um, we're mixing acrylics and tempura paint here. So this will be a good experiment, see how it Okay, so sorry about that, the battery died, we're good to go. So we got all the paints, here's all the different colors of paints we have. Like I said, we're mixing the, the tempura paint and the acrylic, hopefully I'm pronouncing tempura right. And uh, that's kind of what the inside looks like right there. So I haven't given it a swipe, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. You can see I'm just gonna go, Bloop, bloop, bloop. Just something real easy like that, real quick, just so it mixes a little bit. And since we had to change the battery, it's had enough time to sit there and kind of mix a little bit. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do, just put it on there like that, and then do a flip. Whenever you do that, you just put a little pressure against it when you flip, obviously. 
and sometimes I see people try to go really fast and they end up, a lot of times they make a mistake. I, I find it's better just to hold it and just go, just in a nice slow motion. Don't worry about, I gotta do it real quick because you'll usually mess up more. Just boop, nice and easy, you'll be, you'll be easy. So now you wanna give it, you know, give it a, you know, 30 seconds or so just to make sure all the paint gets out, kind of tap the top a little bit, you know, help it down a little bit, let gravity do its work there for a second. And uh, the last one we did, I mean, we call them dirty pours and technically we were, I didn't pour it, I just lifted it up. But I'm wondering on this one if I should do the trick where they kind of move around. What do you think? Yeah, because yeah. I think the other one had a big hole, like a big blank spot when you lifted it. Mm -hmm. And this one, maybe if you move it around, it'll yeah. move the... Okay. So we're going to try that effect. We're going to let it sit here for about another 10, 15 seconds here. And then I'll just lightly lift up on the cup and start moving it around to try to cover it all that way. As opposed to just taking the cup off and then working the paint, the canvas. I'll probably still have to do that work a little bit, but... All right, so you got a good shot of that there. We're gonna go up just a little. You kind of just turn to the side. There you go. Break the barrier. Oh, jeez. Whoops. I lifted it up too high. <laughs> I lifted it up too high, but that's okay. We're gonna see what happens there. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is. See, this looks like it is definitely not gonna. It's thick. very thick. Shoot. Tempura is not the way to go. No, I think acrylics are definitely better. But this is, um, you know, this is why we're doing the stuff to see what's what. Oh, we'll get this whole thing to cover it, and we'll take a little flame to it, and we'll see what happens. See some of the metallics coming through. That's pretty. The metallics are really pretty. So you, I'm, what I try to do is kind of cover as much as I can before I start getting the sides, because it gets real messy when you get to the sides. So you kind of want to try to. Sorry, I sometimes have to turn it away from the camera. Sorry about that. But then again. You're not paying us anything, so I'm not working for you, so I'll do this however I want to do it, all right? Rude. All right. Oh, look at the cell. Rude. Are those cells coming through already right there? What is that? I wonder if it's the... What is that? I might have a cell going on. That looks know. so weird. All right, let's just screw it. Let's just try to get this whole... chunky it is. I know, this is so thick. Oh, my gosh. Let me try to get that whole corner over there. Can't there we go. Chunk or looks like poop. <laughs> <laughs> This corner yeah. over here. Oh, I'm getting a little worried. I know. I'm not gonna run enough. I think yeah, it will. We're, we're getting a lot of the red here. And we're losing, losing all the cool colors. Losing the cool colors, I know. Shoot. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get that corner there. Good. Yeah. Uh, I just gotta get these last two. I'm sorry. Look at your Sorry, your Royal Highness. <laughs> Oh, this stuff is moving slow, slow. You know, I think I'm just gonna... It's like molasses. I think I might just uh, finger the... Oh, that's not horrible. I think I might just get that last part of my finger. Dab it with your finger? Yes. That's a good way to say it. That's what I'm trying to say. You can pick some up from the ground and, and kind of use yeah. the... Um, that's cool. Where's the thing? The, um, the little scraper. Where'd you put the scraper at, buddy? Um, a wood scraper. I didn't put with the it white, anywhere. With the white... White one. You know what? I'm just gonna no. I'm, just, I'm gonna try to tip a little more here. Okay. So. Well, It'll be over here, babe. Where? Tell you what. So what I'm trying to do is just get this last two corners here. Without I tried touching the finger there, but you can dab the sides a little bit since you don't really notice it much. But the f fingers really are noticeable when you. Oh, that part's cool. Try to get this last little part here. Right, that's not so bad. I'll try to. Jeez, I almost dropped it. <laughs> if you drop it, that would be bad. Uh, it would be yes. bad, yes. We'll get that to come back a little bit. So I like that pink and that gold at the top, so I want to get that to come back a little bit. <laughs> so that looks pretty cool. We'll see what, how that does. Let me just. Gosh, look at that. Tap that red is all just the so sides thick. here. Big, yeah, oh yeah, big, big, big whites. Big whites. <laughs> that was my nickname in college, big white. <laughs> I take my shirt off. Oh, big whites here, run! Big white. Run, everybody! <laughs> There's a beached well at the pool. All right, let's see. Here. A beached well. Well. Yeah, okay, beach so we got well, all the sides pretty well. So, <laughs> I like the the way the the 
metallics, I really like the way the metallics looking when you see that gleam, but I think that paint is just too thick. So I'm sure it's fine, it'll probably still work, but you've got to dilute it with the water. Can you stop doing that please? You gotta uh, dilute it with the um, water or the water alcohol mix. So uh, I think I already said this, but we, we don't have distilled water. We need to buy some. We, we've got our water and water. We're in Alabama. Water's pretty hard, at least in our area. So um, and we don't have a big old salt machine or anything to soften the water. So I think the water is not working very well when we try to thin it out. That's why we didn't do it this time. But I mean, it looks cool. I just wish some cells would start to develop. Should I take a little flame to it? Sure. Let's take a little flame to it. And we'll see if that if that helps. I think the cells are like... Alright. We'll see if that does anything. Stinky. Oh, that is stinky. Can you smell? Oh, it's starting to, yeah, yeah, starting right to develop there. a little bit that's right there. Where, that's the acrylic. Oh, okay. Yep. This the red is not acrylic right. and nothing is happening with that. Right. Even the gold right there, no cells are coming out. I don't think tempura is meant to have cells. I don't cells. think it is either. Doesn't but seem that, like it's that big very red well. right there is just... So what I would, just from what we're looking at so far, I think you could still use a tempura paint, but you'd probably want to use like three or four acrylics and then maybe one tempura. You know, if you used one of them and thinned it out a little bit, because it might be cool to get a lot of cells, but then have some of the paint that has no cells. You might be able to get a really cool effect. So I, I think we're still going to experiment with it. Yeah. But from our experience, from our but little experience we have so far, the acrylics seem to work a lot better. I think you get the cells better. But this, is, I mean, it's still cool looking. You know, yeah. I, honestly, it's just too much red. Yeah, it looks cool if that if that was if, that dominated if that was, the whole thing. The red's just overtaking it so much. Yeah, yeah. you could pour. Oh, I mean, if you have like some leftover, you can Although pour I'm on top of it. Little cells start to develop. I'm gonna try a little hit yeah. more heat. And let's be honest, it's not that it necessarily needs fire, but I'm a guy, I love fire, so fire on. All right, so we're gonna hit it up just a little bit here. See if that makes a difference. And keep in mind, we were reading the side of the silicone bottle that it is flammable. So if it's mixed in there, you're okay, but don't, or at least I wouldn't suggest going spraying it on there and trying to hit the fire. You might go up in flames. And I probably should have the can a little bit further from the flame when I'm doing that too. <laughs> Especially my family here that I care for and do not want to injure, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, that paintless looks too thick, I think. You can see like bubbles trying to pop and they're like almost like they're having a hard time popping or something. Yeah, I don't even know if that sells or if that's just, just bubbles. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm hitting this up with flame one more time because I think it, it just needs more help to pop, sort of. Okay, I never want this hardcore to flame, but I'm just, I just want to see what happens. I'm experimenting. Whoops. Turn it the right way there. Not the wrong way. That almost seemed worse, huh? Yeah. I made it worse, I think. It's like, look at that now. It's weird. It looks how, so weird. How it's developing. Yeah, it's really weird. It looks like, it's like the moon craters. It has exactly what it looks like. like yeah. yeah, these aren't cells, these are craters. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the way the metallics, though, when you get that certain yeah, angle, how the metallics like come through. Yeah, there's like a sheen through it. That looks really cool. I wish yeah. the camera's not really picking it up. It is right on the corner. Yeah. There's a lot, but right here, it's not really picking it up. Yeah. Oh, there it is, kind of. Yeah, kind of. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It is definitely. It's, I yeah. just don't like this part right here. So, the, here's something. So, out of everything we've done and explained it, if you like this kind of moon crater effect, just do everything we just did. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, I like it. I just, the colors, I wish it wasn't so much red, but other than that, I kind of like it actually. It's coming out really different. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? You agree? All right. Well, I guess we will let this one dry like the many others and see what happens. Like I said, we're just experimenting and, and um, I think the best way to... I like watching videos where people do a bunch of different stuff, but they at least tell you what they're doing. So if you like it, you can somewhat replicate it. Um, yeah. See you on the next one. <laughs>